Hi, this is Michael Becker, and in this Tinderbox lesson, we're going to get into part three of Exploding Notes. And there's so much going on in this lesson, let's just jump right in and get to it. Okay, so what you see here is a rather extensive Tinderbox file built off of part two. And what I want to be able to show you, and you can read this at your leisure, is I've got a README file for you here. And a few things I want to point out is we're doing a lot in this file. We're going to be talking about exploding notes, prototypes, action code, conditional statements, um, dot contain statements, and more. Um, I also want to point out that we're also bringing up a whole new concept uh, that we briefly touched on in part one, but not really, a um, concept called regular expression. And regular expression is a, uh, a text matching pattern on a methodology that was developed back in the 1950s to help computers understand, manage, and process and match text. And we're going to show you how that works today. Um, just as a head note, and you'll, you'll read this in the README right here, Tinderbox is not the place to learn regex. Um, you know, the Tinderbox team is, um, you know, uh, needs to focus on building Tinderbox and not building uh, software and tools that are being uh, actively developed and used everywhere else out on the internet. So if you want to learn regex, go source some of the more popular sites, do a search on Google, you'll find tons uh, and there'll be um, solutions out there to help you learn regex. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, though, is that there are many dialects of regex, uh, and Tinderbox is using the Perl dialect of, of regex, and that's a really, really important point. Uh, but again, we'll do f uh, uh, lessons in the future about regex so you can learn it more. And then finally, um, you know, we'll give you some highlights uh, uh, about how to leverage and use it. Uh, also in this file, uh, I've got the sample block text that we used uh, originally before, and I'm going to use this one up here in the middle to actually perform our operations, and you'll see at the end of the video, we'll leave that alone. Um, I've got some the sample code um, that we're going to go through here, uh, and then I've also provided some explanations for reg uh, the different parts of the regex and how they work. Um, I've embedded the images rather than uh, following the practice of linking them to them on my hard drive because this file is going to be a standalone. Uh, one thing, to, and then I've also provided an image to help you understand the parts of regex. Uh, one thing to note that currently uh, Tinderbox does not dis display embedded images in preview. So if you go into the preview mode, you won't see them there. Um, I, I understand that the uh, Tinderbox team is working on that. And then finally, I give an explanation in more detail about the particular action code. So there's a lot going on in this file. Um, the other thing I want to uh, explain is uh, Mark Anderson, who is the Tinderboxer like myself, uh, and uh, has been authoring for well over 10 years the Tinderbox reference file or the ATB ref that we all leverage and use as our primary source of documentation and, and understanding Tinderbox. Uh, Mark was instrumental in helping me uh, understand the concepts that uh, like regex and the various capabilities that we'll be going through here today. And I just want to do a huge shout out to him as a thank you for um, you know, helping us be able to have this lesson that we have today. So uh, now let me show you the lesson and, and let's dig into the parts. So what we're going to do, and here's our goal. Let's first start with our objective. You know, as we talked about in part two, um, we have various strategies to be able to piece and, 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 uh, and pull these different pieces uh, of text apart. And so our objective here, let's just start be very clear with our objective. Our objective here is to take all of these individual names um, that are separated by commas uh, and make them into their own notes, have the name be the name of the note, and have this information here uh, be the company name in the organization attribute of our Tinderbox file. And we want to do that all at once uh, to make it really fast and easy for us. Um, so let's go ahead and start breaking down the steps. So one example, if you recall from part two, hit option command E, and that brings up our explode note capability. And um, you'll probably have it where it's just saying breaking uh, break at paragraphs here. What we want to do first, just as a first test, is we want to break at the um, comma, uh, just to make sure that the, uh, the initial explosion is going to work OK. So we explode that note, and we see, OK, we've broken all the notes at the comma. So oops, whoops, sorry. We've broken all the notes at the comma, so that's going to work just fine. Now, the other thing that we want to do, too, is we want to take a look at our actual code and we want to uh, break it down. So what this code is going to do for us is it's going to first apply the person prototype. Uh, and by the way, if you're applying a prototype in, in Explode, you want to do that as the first element of the action that you do because the Explode itself creates a prototype. And if you do that later in your action process, um, 
this your applying of your own prototype might get missed um, because of the inheritance issues that happen with um, uh, tinderbox notes and we can talk about that in more detail later um, the second element of this action code is fairly complex and so what you're seeing here is we're going to what we're trying to do is evaluate the name with the dot contains um, uh, dot operator as part of the action code so this is basically saying look for content that contains information and now you're seeing a bunch of crazy characters right here well these crazy crazy characters are regex so typically what we would do is we do something like name you know dot contains um you know parentheses becker right so if you're looking for my name you know in, in a particular note we would run and run and do that search and we'd be able to do a query using dot contains well up here is kind of saying the same thing, but it's doing it in cons cons um, computer speak. Uh, and what it's looking for is patterns. So let me go over here and show you what's going on. So um, as I said, we don't want to be learning regex in Tinderbox per se, because Tinderbox is not the tool to do that. Uh, Tinderbox does a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, so uh, in there is a software tool called BB Edit um, that I find uh, I, and particularly really like. Uh, there's another one called Expressions. Uh, which is another um, uh, tool that could be quite useful uh, when you're learning tr to do regex. And then there's also just ca calculators and regex tools up on the internet. Um, so I'm using this TextPad BB Edit, and you'll see here I've entered in the first few lines of text from our um, exploded file. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to File, New, and then select the Pattern Playground, which is essentially a regex playground uh, in BB Edit. Uh, and that, that would open up this window here. Uh, and then all I need to do is copy this code right there, right? So in between these two parentheses. So because um, th that's, this is our regex code right here. So if I copy that and I go over here and paste it here, um, you're gonna see what's happening. What our regex is doing is it's matching text. And if I go and open up my example, and again, I'm, I'm, you can read this later at your leisure, but again, when we look at regex, what regex is basically saying and doing is it's saying it's, it's looking for like parentheses here. So if it sees two parentheses like, like this with regex commands in the middle, that's telling it to create a group. And I'll explain what a group is in a minute. Um, similarly, if it sees characters like this, that's called an escape character. So what it's doing is, you know, allowing, treating a parentheses like a parenthesis, actually a piece of text, rather than that text being a group. Uh, and then you have other special characters in here, and I'll explain those up here. So for example, um, the uh, little carrot here says start, you know, start your analysis for pattern matching at the beginning of the line. The brackets say group these characters together. The plus says capture one or more characters in your regex. So essentially what you're doing in regex is you're essentially uh, telling the computer look for these patterns and so um, what we're if we're doing here and i can break this up a little bit i'll like deal this uh, delete this part of the regex and so what we're saying with this regex is create a group and start at the beginning of the line escape out the parenthesis and look for all of the other text before the parenthesis so essentially what we're doing is telling the regex find all the information before the parenthesis likewise if we put the other one there what we're what we're telling the regex is um, go find that go find the company name and let's go ahead and put that back uh, and so there's another important piece that i want to show you let me copy that here we'll copy here and again this is going to take you a while to deconstruct i, I would be uh, i wouldn't be surprised at all um so let, let's uh, actually let's uh, start a new pattern so we don't uh, discard this pattern go up to file new new pattern uh, we'll paste this in, and there's our regex again. Now, let's take a brief, brief breath, and again, remember what's happening here is this uh, this code up here, this language, this computing language that was developed in the 50s is a way to instruct a computer to evaluate patterns in text. And again, the patterns that we're looking for is, and going back to our original goal, find this first name, find the company information uh, the imp uh, between the two parentheses. And as I mentioned to you over here, when I go back to my uh, example that I, I did you here, did here, when you, in regex, when you put uh, a regex uh, a pattern match in between two parentheses, that's telling regex 
essentially to create what's called a group or in tinderbox language that's called a back reference and so what a back reference means is whatever you match in here stick it in a variable that we can use later uh, and so in this regex, what we're essentially doing is creating two variables, um, and in fact three, because there's the original variable, which is the original string. So uh, looking over here at our um, BB at a playground, what you're seeing here is here is our regex. It's pattern matching against the whole string, and then we're seeing here what it's capturing in the groups. So group zero is the initial complete string, which is this first line. Group one is the first name. And group two is the information between the two parentheses. So we now know in a tool like BBEdit that our pattern matching is working. Now let's go over to our Tinderbox file and let's just test it before we go try to explode everything. So what I did was I created, so I hit command one to open up my uh, uh, document inspector and I click on the stamp uh, item here. And so I left the, uh, the, um, the uh, code replaced. So if you wanted to do a test here, um, for example, to uh, just apply a stamp and replace the code, you'll see text text dot replace. Basically, look for um, commas and then replace all of those commas with a par paragraph mark. If I go ahead and apply this code to the note, look what happens. It transforms everything just like we did using the explode tool. So that's one way again to go out, go ahead and test that. I'm going to copy this code information and put it back in our sample note because I don't want to mess that up. Um, and now what we can do is we can start testing the first elements of our regex. And so we've exploded our note for the first time in our test. And if you look here, what I've done is I've copied the first part of that regex code right here, this, this part of the regex code right here into a stamp. Uh, and I've made the first uh, that the first group, aka the first back reference. What I'm saying is, you know, make the first back reference my string. So let's go ahead and open up the my string attribute, so that we can play with this a little bit. And this is just a really good thing to do when you're, you know, playing with action code and when you've got a bigger file or if you've got a test file, is before you start doing a whole bunch of things and a lot of automation that you might not be able to unwind. Let's just make sure stuff works. So yeah, I can say if name contains basically information be in front of a parenthesis, um, what we're uh, what we're saying is make that uh, that because that we only have one uh, regex group here that will become variable number one and stick it in my string. That's basically what we're telling uh, what we're uh, what we're uh, having a Tinderbox do. So when I hit apply, guess what? The name Benjamin Andre shows up right here in the first part of the string. Now I did the same thing with the second part of the regex. So I took that, I, I, I then copied the second part of the regex, which you can also copy by the way, from here in the code. Uh, this is the second part of the regex right there. Um, so if I go back to that file here, I can uh, let's take, ben, uh, take the same code and now what's gonna happen? Well, what we hope is gonna happen is it's gonna grab this information cozy cloud and stick it in my string. So let's go ahead and hit apply and see what happens. And there you go, it happens. And then just for fun, I wanted to do the zero string test as well. And the zero string test is basically the whole line, the whole element that's being evaluated with regex. And so when we hit apply on that, there you go, and we get the whole line. So essentially what's happening when, um, uh, when you're running a dot contains operation is it's, it's essentially saying, take the name, which is this whole line, the whole name, uh, take the first group, which is Benjamin Andre, take the second group, which is the company. So now we know the parts of our action code work, uh, which is terribly exciting, by the way. So I'm now going to go ahead and unexplode that note. And again, let's go and evaluate the rest of our action code. What we're doing is we want, uh, because these are people, uh, we want them all to turn uh, be turned into a person prototype. We then, what's going on here? We're basically taking that same code that we just walked through with the stamp, and we're saying take the name dot i contains um, pattern matching um, dot uh, um, attribute in the action code. Find the first name, find the names before the parentheses. Find the information in between the parentheses, and then here's the second part of the if conditional, right? So it says if. So this is the way the conditional syntax works. If whatever the condition is, and in this case, our condition is just pattern match content. Uh, then we and then we say the then, and the then actions here. Here are we saying, take the second variable, the second group, which is this group right here, and stick it in organization. 
take the first group and stick it in name. Take the first group and also stick it in full name. And then this last uh, action, and this is the third element, because if you, if you see the semicolons here, this is essentially saying we have three expressions within this action code. The first one is apply the prototype. The second one is to parse out all the names and put the content and the text in the right places we want. And the third part is then to clear out the body of the text. Because if you remember, when we just did the initial action code, um, we, uh, we left that text clean. Now we could do that in the explode as two um, using the admit capability, which I'll point out in a minute. But since I hadn't done it, or since it's in there, I just wanted to show you that that was another way that we could run that text. Now what, let's go ahead and do it. I'm gonna copy this code, this action code that we have here. I'm going to go to our note here and I'm going to hit option command E. And that's gonna open up our action code element. Now we still want to be breaking this entire paragraph at the delimiter uh, of the uh, comma. And this is going to be the first action within our process. It essentially break the notes up into its parts. And then the next action, we want to paste our action code into the explode action right here. So we're pasting in all of our action code into the explode action and we're going to hit explode. Now, if all of this works out well, what we're going to see is a bunch of notes that have a person prototype and all of the information is populated into the right place. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Explode. Happens immediately. We go down here and voila, there you go. We have every one of our um, people are all broken out into their individual names. You see that their full name is here, that their company name is there, and that they're a uh, type person. And then clearly from the headshot and the color schema, you can see based on our person prototype that they've been assigned the person prototype. And so this was a really fast uh, um, lesson on how to use all of the different elements of Tinderbox to fundamentally transform and manipulate uh, your data to start creating insight and knowledge from it. And if you remember, um, once you start getting really good at this, it's going to be incredibly time saving. Um, so uh, good luck with uh, you know, exploring these absolutely exciting and fundamental transformational capabilities that Tinderbox is going to give you to be able to allow you to collect information um, as you're uh, sourcing it throughout the internet, to be able to curate that information and then from it start uh, creating uh, your own information, then ultimately con contributing your knowledge um, out there into the world as you analyze your notes and, and consider um, all of the meaning that you can get from the, inf uh, from the information that you're processing within your Tinderbox experience. And with that, thank you very much.